All righty, humans, here we are again, uh, back after the summer break. Um, I learned the hard way that having three boys aged five or under in their first summer holiday outside of school is hell. So I couldn't do anything other than look after children and the very core of my work. Anyway, so that's why there's been a, a halt to these videos. But for those who don't know what this is, this is me attempting to invest in 100 crowdfunding projects, each one £1,000 at a time. Uh, if they meet my investor checklist, which is down here in the bottom left, um, I will right now take out my Monzo card from my wallet and invest £1,000. Um, and I'm doing this for two reasons, really. The very first reason is that as a repeat founder myself, having raised plenty of money and failed at raising money too, um, I want to kind of expose where for founders, confidence is often won or lost in a pitch, especially one that's not done in person, um, so that people with great ideas and great inventions and great opportunities don't fall at the first hurdle. Um, and the second, is that for those who are looking to back projects with their own money, if they are casual, part-time, what are called retail investors, uh, to see how um, you know, a more potentially more experienced and seasoned um, investor goes about essentially doing diligence at the first pass of a, of, of, of a pitch. In particular, a crowdfunding pitch. So, Let's get going. Crowdcube, um, I don't go by popularity. Uh, the reason for that is because hype is the worst reason to write a check. Just because it's popular doesn't mean it's good. Biosus Energy, here we are. Okay, Biosus Energy is deeply committed to the net zero journey, enhancing environmental footprints through proven technologies and innovative practices in energy generation. Biosus offers renewable energy solutions by installing, operating, and servicing a multitude of renewable energy assets for domestic and commercial customers. Oh, that tells me almost very, very little. And um, my eyes have immediately been drawn to that valuation. 22 million pounds is probably $25 million is my guess. Um, so, okay, strong renewables track record with more than 10 years of trading history. So that explains why it's not EIS or SEIS. And if you don't know what those are, those are the UK tax schemes that essentially mean if I invest as a UK taxpayer and the investment fails, then the government will give me some credit back to say, thank you for taking a risk on a UK-based business. Um, so that's not eligible, but because you can only do that in the first five years of its life. I believe. Um, so if it's more than 10 years, HSBC, one of the world's largest banks, is our lender. Okay, so this makes me think it's probably a hardware play. It's an infrastructure of some kind. If it's infrastructure, it's totally okay for there to be debt. In fact, there's usually it's usually okay. Like, I'm not scared of debt. Debt is just a tool to get money to pay for things that need to happen. Um, but the thesis of investing or giving debt is very different to the thesis of investing. Because as an investor, I get my financial return when the company gets acquired or if it makes a lot of profit in, in the long term. But that's not my motivation. Mine is when it gets acquired. But as a lender, my return on investment happens when they pay the interest monthly or quarterly or annually. So... It's just a different thesis. Like as a lender, I'm like, can you can you pay the interest? But as an investor, I'm like, can this thing be bought in the future? So they're, they're just different theses. So I'm not afraid of debt. Um, okay, so the problem, global energy consumption is rising, obviously, but the dependence on fossil fuels constitute massive, yeah, normal. Biosus Energy develops and implements advanced renewable energy solutions is so vague working with our clients every step of the way to ensure that their energy needs are met efficiently. Okay, I need to know what they've actually made. Have they... What? I've just read that. Investors and funding fully bootstrapped today and they hit a valuation now of 22 million. If they've self-funded, obviously with debt, so it's not exactly bootstrapped, is it? That's a bit of a bit of bullshit. But anyway, if they've if they've really built a $25 million company bootstrapped, like, fucking, just, 
amazing. Like turnover three million and net profits of half a million. I mean, bootstrapped. That tells me as operators, they're gonna be pretty good, which is a big tick. Okay, so I'm excited, I'm excited. Um, all right, let's have a look at their deck. Ugh, God, it's disgusting. Ugh, no, I'm not going to read that. Ugh. Powering your net zero journey. Okay, so there's something physical. BioSAS is on a mission to help our customers go green and save money. I mean, there's so many ways of going green, you know, from the way you use energy to the way you get energy, whether it's from renewables or kind of biogas sources. Um, there's loads of options now about how to achieve a green energy supply as a consumer of energy. Um, fast growing and award winning renewable energy company. We're, we're speaking at such high levels, that's fine. With a 50% year on year expansion, backed by experienced directors at HSBC. Okay, BioSAS in numbers. 10 years of trading, 50% year on year expansion. Uh, okay, so that's between 24 and 23. I don't, okay, revenue 3 million and 24. Excellent financial support, 4 million from HSBC. That's fine. That means there's 4 million, however, likely in debt on the balance sheet. Um, net profit, 9x growth in the last three years, but your early stage where that just doesn't matter. It just, just doesn't matter. Revenue 3.8x growth over the last three years. So does that mean growth has slowed down? Okay. We're tackling decarbonization, whatever. Yes, we know it's massive. That means reducing carbon. Biostress is uniquely designed. I still don't exactly know what you do. Like there's a thing that sits outside of a building that does what? I need to know if you've made something or whether you're just consultants that slaps your logo onto some equipment that you get. Um, uh, still not answering my question. Multiple sources of recurring revenue, government guaranteed income. So you're, again, are you a new energy company? I don't, I, I don't, what have you, what have you made? Okay, our containerized solution, here we are. Our containerized solution includes battery storage systems as well as tri-generation or combined cooling, heating and power. So maximize energy efficiency. Yes, I've seen hundreds of these. By capturing heat generated during the production of energy, provide two sources of energy, electricity and thermal energy. Yes, and I've seen how this has been used to create direct carbon capture credits all the way through to the recirculating of that heat to have better efficiencies at burning gases, whether it's biogas or natural gas. Um, we specialize in the design and installation of solar PV systems. You sound like a consultancy. You sound, and, and that's, like, that's great, that's great, but it's, it changes the thesis of an investment because consultancies don't tend to be bought by they're not it's not common to have a venture outcome with a consultancy you can sometimes have a private equity buyout with a consultancy and that's pretty meaningful but it's 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 difficult okay are you celebrating this hsb the hsbc thing okay i'm fairly certain that this is a consultancy Okay, Ecogenesis is a biomass-based green energy project. How we'll do it, you take wood, put them in this kind of moderately high pressure thing to generate electricity and heat, recycle the heat. Um, you can make biochar, yeah, okay, yeah. I'm fairly confident that this is a consultancy. So while, it's not clear. I 
don't really invest in consultancies. And we'll go through my um, we'll go through my checklist to show why. Is there a novel invention? No. It sounds like they're using technology from other people to in, using it in novel ways. In, in fairness, but not ways which are unique. Like. I've seen this kind of recycling of the heat being produced through energy in shipping containers and in high pressure environments. I've seen that hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times. Um, and so many of the good ones, in my personal opinion, have some either business model innovation or they have some form of patent innovation that makes their particular process protected and better. So what this tells me is that the operating team here are really good at selling and they're probably really good at energy consulting. Um, and they may make you know, one of the large energy consulting companies going forward. But there is no invention. So all the risk is in execution. There is very little protection if the execution fails and the company needs to get acquired um, that it'll have any IP value. There's nothing here to say that if they fail to execute as a business, there's still value in the business, especially when there's four million pounds worth of debt, which will wipe out, if they do have any IP value, it'll wipe that out straight away. Because it'll all go to HSBC. Does it work change behavior? Don't know. I mean, they've clearly done well. Can the founders build the first product themselves? Don't know, because if it's a consultancy, that's not the same thing. Can I 10x? I'm not even going to bother. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not going to bother. Will I chat about it at the dinner table? No, because it's one of a hundred of these things I've seen over and over and over again. Um, I am going to take one more scan because th that revenue number is just great. It is great. Um, I'll take one more scan. Let's have a look at, at their discussions and and see if there's something in here that makes me go, oh, I've misunderstood. And I probably have misunderstood, but this is the point of these videos. You can see how easy it is for a retail investor to misunderstand. Um, hello. Okay. I'm always interested and sympathetic to any sort of energy transition pitch on Crowdkey, but after reading a pitch, I've readily idea of what <laughs> Biosys Energy does. Same! <laughs> Energy as a service, we generate energy for our customers. That's so fucking vague! <laughs> what have you built? What do you do? Not what do you consult. Self-generation. We generate our own green energy. Okay. Is that the biomass, the, the biochar? That's, even that's not, that's, that's carbon um, sequestration of a form anyway. Um, installations of solar arrays, again. Power factor correction. Your consultancy. There's a pitch deck now, perhaps. Okay. Dividend, yeah, dividends have been an integral part of a company's history. This is okay. So I'm out. I'm not in. But let me explain in now and succinctly why. So as a consultancy, it does have the opportunity to be a very big consultancy, but there is, which essentially provides maybe some of its own designs and you know. Uh, infrastructure to bring green and carbon-free energy to clients. Um, but there are so many people who do that. So many from the existing energy suppliers like Shell Zero, who have their own innovation lab to provide net zero services to clients that are happy to pay a slight premium or to work with latest R&D projects. Um, this is one of so many consultancies and because of that, there's nothing within the deck and nothing within answering this very good question around something that they have invented. Because it's the invention or the IP which underlines the venture value at the early stages of a business. And the reason for that is let's just say that in three to four years, they run out of money and they can't build the company. Their costs are greater than their revenue. Perfectly normal, happens all the time, even to some of the best businesses out there. However, if they have IP, they can go to a shell, they can go to a total energy, they can go to a BP, they can go to anyone and say, we have this thing that we've invented. Our business, that the overheads are too high for us to be a successful business on our own. We would like you to buy us to become a department inside yours, benefit from your overhead, or your much, much, much lower overhead and investment capacity. So this becomes a very profitable thing for you, but it wouldn't be a profitable thing for us on our own. 
that can only happen if there is IP, invention, protected new things that can be sold. So this rules out, or at least it appears to rule out an IP acquisition. So the only way somebody can make their money back as an investor is when this company makes significant profit, of which it only made 600K the last year, despite 10 years of trading, it made 600K of profit. Now, is that before interest payments on its loan? We don't know. I'm sure on, on a four million pound loan, the interest payments are pretty fucking high. Um, even with this, I would need to wait for those profits to then take my 0.01% share of those profits. I will never, ever make my money back. So, no, there's no invention. There's nothing which I can see that they do that other people can't do. I congratulate them on their traction uh, as a consultancy, but as an IP or venture business, nah, dead to me. Hope that helps.